Hope Stratman, and I'm a sophomore at Scott Catholic. And my poem is titled, Light. At its core, the sun can reach over 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. Nuclear fusion creates light and heat. 386 billion megawatts of glorious brilliance. I see vibrant yellows and whites streaming out of the souls of every being I know. So much light that it breaks through the suffocating confines of marrow and cell to intertwine with the blaze of others. The earth is illumined with the glowing torches of its inhabitants. The ancient Aztecs offered sacrifices to the overwhelmingly bright bulb that pulsed just above them. But there are over a hundred billion stars in our galaxy alone. As far as you ventured into the universe, you would never stop seeing shining, glowing torches lighting up their solar systems. Yet the Aztecs were unable to look past the obvious star right on their doorstep. The quiet girl in my theology class doesn't even know what kind of brilliance she exudes. Sure, she doesn't talk much, but she wraps everyone she knows in warm rays of love. And then there's that boy in theater who almost bursts any room he's in with the pure joy of his laugh. It's like his very being was created for brightening. Many don't even know that the world is ablaze, much less that they're the cause. But I know a boy who only speaks when you call his name, twice whose shoulders are so slumped they seem immobile, the room turns a foggy black with every sarcastic comment he makes. Our sun can reach 27 million degrees, but these red dwarves can barely reach 5,000. The beautiful glow dulls and it shrinks into itself. I know a girl who won't let herself talk to anyone she doesn't know because I'm afraid they won't like me, who some days feels her pulsating rays coil into smoke. I know that for every dull star among us, miles of shadows stretch across the earth, but I don't know how to compress my smoke back into light. We know that one day, after all of its hydrogen has been used up, the sun will burn helium. It will expand engulfing our earth in heat, in gas, and in the light that has sustained life since the first bacterium formed. But what are we waiting for? We are cosmic phenomena encased in heaps of flesh and bone. The sunshine that is in every living person is our proof that humanity is divine, that it is celestial. Feel the incandescence that dances from your fingertips. Let it intertwine with the blaze of others. To illuminate the world. Show some love.